All right, so uh, welcome to the introduction to spreadsheets. Uh, we're going to be taking a deep look into a lot of things in this topic. Um, spreadsheets are used just about in every industry where you need some sort of organization. Uh, that includes whether it's financial organization, just trying to keep data intact, keeping records about people and other types of information. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with spreadsheet technology that really saves you a lot of time, uh, specifically things that, you know, you can stay organized and just you want to do like repetitive types of calculations. And the best way that I can explain it is with this spreadsheet that I have here. Uh, this spreadsheet, as we can see, is for Girl Scout Cookie Sales. And what it does is it keeps record on all of our different, uh, you know, people who are buying Girl Scout cookies. So we have all of their address and contact information and things like that. Um, you know, like these are all the like first name, last name, street, city, state, and zip code. So the information, if we're going to mail them out to them or, you know, however else we're going to get uh, the cookies out to the people. All right. And then we have the number of each of the cookies that they've purchased. Now, as a chart just by itself, sure, it has uses for organization. However, with spreadsheets, you can also set things up so that it automatically updates other results as you modify the initial results. And what do I mean like that? Well, let's take a look. Uh, this is James, and James is buying four Thin Mints, two Samoas, one S'mores, two Lemon Drops, and one Dosey Dough. Uh, these are the cookies that he's buying. Now, if all of a sudden, James decided, you know what, four Thin Mints is too many, I'm just going to get two of them. What we can do is change this to two, and when I press enter, I want you to look to see at the total here that James is buying. When I press enter, it automatically updates down to a total of eight. So this entire column for the total number of items that they're purchasing is dependent on all of these uh, numbers that are placed in. And to go a step further, you know, if I change this back to four, I'd like you to look at the bottom of this chart, and we have 76, right? So when I change it to four and press enter, it moves up to 78. And even when you go further, we have the cost, which is created from the total number of items purchased. And we even have a chart that changes there. So like, for example, lemon ups, uh, let's say that James decided he wanted to buy 200 of them to make it a lot more. When I press enter, you notice this chart adjusts to show and modify the percentage of lemon ups that were being purchased. 200 is a little too excessive, so we're just going to bring that down to 2, just so we have uh, you know easier to work with numbers for now. Spreadsheets do a lot of different things in terms of organization, and this is just scratching the surface on how powerful uh, spreadsheet technology can get. So in this course, we're going to learn a lot of different things about it. We're going to learn how to, you know, create a sheet like this. We're going to learn to make uh, formulas and equations that get built based on other data in spreadsheets. We're going to learn to do a lot of different cool like tricks and things like that to make sure that our data and our spreadsheets that we build open up a lot of opportunities for us. All right. So in this course, a lot of this is just going to be me showing you how to do a bunch of things. And then you're going to have all of these challenges at the end that you're going to need to accomplish in order to, you know, kind of like prove what you've learned and test your skills and really just reinforce what type of knowledge and skills you acquire on here. Uh, there are a lot of careers that are not only enhanced by the ability to use spreadsheets and stay organized, but there are careers that literally just want people to be good with Excel or Google Sheets, which are the two types of programs that do pretty much the same thing. At least for this introductory course, they're going to do pretty much the same job no matter what we would like on here. All right? So uh, the first thing that we need to do, though, is we need to navigate over to Google Sheets because I want to show you from the basics how to build a spreadsheet for this video. Uh, then in the next video, we're going to be looking more at adjusting the visual appearances and how things look and make things look nice and neat. All right. So... Uh, what we need to do is on our, um, you know, web browser, we can head over to sheets.google.com. That is uh, one of the ways that we can head over to the site. Uh, you can also, when you've signed into Google, you can go to your Google apps. And if you look through, you'll find a little green box with white uh, skeleton marks in it that 
says Sheets. That's also another way that you can open up Google Sheets. And once we get here, all we have to do is click blank right here, and it will allow us to pretty much uh, open up a brand new blank, never before used sheet or a spreadsheet before. All right. So uh, we're left with this big blank area. What I'm going to do is kind of zoom this in a little bit just so we can see it a little bit more up close and work with that. So what we have are these little boxes. And these boxes actually have a name. Uh, these are called cells. And uh, if you've ever played Battleship, you're already, you already kind of know how to talk about uh, different cells or different boxes and reference them based on a letter and a number. So for example, this box right here is column A, remember columns go vertical, and row 1, rows go horizontal. So A1 is here, this is A2, this is A3, A4, this is A10, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so what we can also do is column B, you know, I can be in B5 is column B, row 5. And this allows us to specify which cell or box we're going to be working with. All right, and what we can do in any of these boxes, we can just start entering in information. So I'm going to enter in my name. When I press enter, you'll notice that I go down to the next line, and I can type in more things, um, you know, teaches uh spreadsheets if i could type that would be nice uh there we go so we can kind of write them like this now what we can also do is just click somewhere and type in information into a box as well all right if we want to delete anything well we can right click we can say delete uh delete cells you know things like that we can cut to remove everything from it i can press the delete key and delete I can delete and I can get rid of these different types of things from my spreadsheet. Additionally, instead of pressing enter to put in our data, we can also press the tab key to move to the right. So we can kind of like navigate with arrows and tabs and enters to kind of move between different things as we see fit. All right. Uh, you know, that's just kind of like moving around. Uh, another thing that we can talk about is ranges. So if I wanted to talk about this cell all the way through this cell, so I held the shift as I clicked it to uh, highlight them all, I can say this is you know A1 through E1. But if I were to write that out logically, it would be A1 colon E1. Oh. A1 colon E1. And that would also be us communicating that we're talking about A1 all the way through E1. We could also do something where it's A1 through A10, so that would be A1 colon A10. Same idea pretty much applies. But what if I wanted to make an entire box like this? All right, now things get a little bit more interesting because I could talk about this way and I could talk about this way, but if I wanted to talk about all of that, well, that would be A1 colon C9. And that would actually make the whole box if I were trying to reference all of them. Uh, that's just kind of how like we describe things on here. We could also use commas and talk about all of them, but this is like 27 boxes, so you're probably not going to want to type out all of them. Just about how like you know uh, Excel or Google Sheets, they tend to think in this mathematical term, and I just want to give us some common language to talk about it. All right. So that's pretty much just like understanding the basics of Google Sheets and, you know, any sort of spreadsheet technology. Uh, we can put in a lot of different things. You know, I'm going to put uh, animals at the top. And that should be cat, not uh, golden, giraffe. And let's say alligator. We're going to use these four as our kind of like, um, kind of like our uh, animals for, you know, just some examples and things like that. Uh, for now, I just want you to, you know, get it comfortable and experienced with, you know, typing in data and things like that. Now, the one key difference between Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets uh, is the ability to share things. So we have to name this, let's just call this test spreadsheet. Save that, and then we can start typing anybody that we want to share it with. I'm sure you already know how to do this with Google. Uh, docs and you know presentations and everything else like that but one of the key benefits to doing this is you could take a spreadsheet like this one and share it with you know 30 40 50 100 a thousand people 
and they can all enter in this type of data uh, and make a collaborative spreadsheet. So, you know, all of the Girl Scouts from one troop could connect onto one spreadsheet and they could make a lot of different things. Uh, you know, kind of like collaborate and put all of their work together. What we can also do at the bottom here is we can make extra pages. So if I click that plus button, now I have sheet one and I have sheet two. And this is super useful when it comes to making different pages. Because if you also get a little curious and click on the rename, we could name this animals. We could name this um, food, and I could put in food here, pizza, hot dog, hamburger, french fries, etc., etc. So we can kind of have like different spreadsheets of different types of things being placed into it. All right. So, um, you know, just the first thing with this is going to be uh, just, you know, get used to entering information into cells, learn how to describe what each of these are. And the last little piece of information I'm going to leave with you is if you ever want to move this data, you can also take your mouse and see where the little hand shows up on the border. That's like the dragging option. So I can move this all the way down to here. And this is H10, uh, you know, the cell that we want to move it to. So we can move these around and, you know, we can kind of configure and play around with things. Uh, you know, it's almost like playing with, like, building blocks in a way, because each cell is kind of like a block, and we want to structure them together so they do cool things. All right. So uh, this is used heavily in fields that rely on mathematics and things like that. And throughout this, you know, unit, you're going to see a lot of cool things unravel. I'm going to teach you how to do things like adjust the visual appearances and make things look nice and fancy. Uh, we're going to be able to play around with some really neat stuff involving like equations and logic and formulas and algorithms and all these other cool things are just going to kind of like converge together. And you're going to have a lot of skills uh, with this piece of software or this tool, you know, the spreadsheet tool or spreadsheet technology. It's going to let you do some pretty neat stuff, um, you know, and, and even just looking at this, like, just making this chart is kind of like really helpful for us figuring out exactly what we need to do and how we need to, uh, you know, address information based on this. If I were to ask you for the percentages without any of the spreadsheet technology, you would have to add them all up and then figure out the percentage from there. And I don't think you want to do that because I don't want to do that. Uh, one of the cool things of technology is being lazy is actually a benefit if you can apply that laziness to solving things. Uh, you know, this spreadsheet took a little bit of time to make and put together, but at the end of it all, it's a pretty powerful tool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to learn a lot of cool things with that, and I uh, hope we get some good knowledge out of this and have a good time learning about all of these different types of uh, technologies. So, yeah, uh, looking forward to moving on to the next video with you.